Today's lesson will be on the ever important pen tool in Photoshop. So the pen tool is something called a vector based graphic creator where um, if you, well let me show you an example, if you have a picture like this and you want to increase the size by a lot then you will start to see that the image gets very pixelated. So the bigger you make it, it's going to keep getting pixelated and it starts to look really bad. So what the pen tool is, is you create your own graphic that is a vector graphic, which means it doesn't rely on pixels, it relies on points. So you can stretch it to any size and it will never become pixelated. Now this is a main thing people use when creating logos or they use them to create uh, simple graphics that they just want to become vectorized. So to begin you click on your pen tool located in the left side or you can click P as a shortcut. So the the settings should be the same for everyone when they first open it because it is not that complicated of a tool, but it is hard to master in the way that you have to practice it a lot. So you click a point and then you click another point, but the second point you click, you have to hold down your mouse so that you see this line appear. Now when you're still holding down your mouse, you can drag it to make a curve or an arch. So you want to exactly match your picture because you're basically just tracing on top of it, creating another picture. So if I was tracing this ladybug, then I would keep tracing around it. As you can see, it takes time to master. And I'm just going to do a rough trace. So when you don't want that, you could click delete. And then click on your point again to continue drawing. And it doesn't have to be perfect because no one is going to see the image underneath if you don't want them to. And just curve that around. So that, that's pretty good for now. And if you set up your panel correctly in the very first lesson of this series, you should have paths down here. But if you don't, go up to, whoops, let me drag that back, put it down in there. But if you don't, go to Window, and then Find Paths, and click it. And then drag it over into your workspace. If you're not sure how to do that, then watch lesson one on setup and basic tools. So if you do go over to paths, you'll see a couple options down here. You can see your work path that you've just created, and it is just the shell and head of the ladybug. So this button down here will fill the path with a specified color in your color palette over here. So before you click fill, if you want to select your color by double clicking the palette down there. So let's just say I want to fill it with blue. So I select the blue I want and click OK. And then hit this black button that says fill path with foreground color. So it will make a completely new blue path. And if you click out of the path it will deselect it but you can see that it completely filled in the shape you just made so you could also transform the path by doing command T for transforming and you can resize it I'll just do this for the sake of showing you you can resize it really huge and click enter then I'll fill it again and as you can see it is not pixelated at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete my work path or actually I'll do 
I'll go back in history before I filled it. So now I just have my normal path again. Another option you can do is stroke your path, which is this option. And that one will also use the color you specified in your palette down here. So if you click stroke, then you can see a small blue line of stroking. And you can see that all it has done is stroke the picture, not fill it, or stroke the path. So if I back up again with Command Z, where I have my original path, let's say I didn't like the path that I've been working with. So I can go to my pen tool. If you hold it, there are a variety of options. One is freeform pen tool. The other is add anchor point. I'll discuss what those are in a minute. One is delete anchor point, and one is convert point tool. So the freeform pen tool is something that I have never really used because it kind of takes away the point of the pen tool, but some people might like it. So what it is, is you basically, instead of clicking points, you just click and drag it around and then back to where you started to make your object. So you see how that doesn't really look that good, but if you wanted to spend some time with it, you might want to, but the pen tool makes really nice professional looking things because of the smoothness of the curves. So you can make way more professional looking objects. So I'll go back and an anchor point is something that you can add into your curve to make a dividing line between the curve and adjust that specific part of it. So it's easier to show you uh, if you go onto your path and click somewhere where you want your anchor point with the anchor point pen tool selected and you click it and you can see your point. Now this also brings up what these mouses are or mice I should say uh, there is a black path selection tool and a white uh, direct selection tool and they both are meant for the pen tool. The black selection tool or the black path selection tool is if you click on the path and drag it, it will pick up the entire path. Now I'm going to back up so it matches again. But if you select the white one, you can click on a specific point on a specific anchor point and modify that one by itself. So, if you go to your path, click this anchor point to modify it and you can drag the the arms of it. Or I they're actually called handles, I think. But you can drag the handles and see with a new anchor point, you can drag that specific part of it around. This is all just stuff you're going to want to experiment with. So, uh, if you saw that this wasn't enough there, you can click on that and try to modify the curve more. Uh, you see, you can keep continually going back to your to your path and finessing it until you get it just how you want. You could keep adding anchor points here and use the white one and drag it in without affecting the rest of the path. So, for silhouettes, you could just fade it black, or color it black with this. And you can spend some time with that, but this is just an intro to the pen tool. There's still a lot more to cover. And this is also a great introduction to the Illustrator program, because that is all vector-based. And the pen tool is one of the main things you use in Illustrator. So in the project files I included in this download, I included this ladybug picture. Um, I'll go back to this, the ladybug picture. A praying mantis picture, which is a very good one to practice on. I highly recommend it because you can actually get your curves down and just spend some time trying to get it exactly around the mantis's body along with its pincers and everything. 
And in case you got stuck on that, I also provided a PSD where someone else has created a path of the mantis and filled it. So you can go over to the paths and look at the paths. So yeah, that's basically it for this lesson. Uh, these are available in the download section of the website pluggertech.com. If you go over to the website, it will be in the download section of PluggerTech. And it, it right now is under recently added, but if you wanted to find it, you go to Photoshop, Exercises, and then Pen Tool right here. So that comes with those files. So I would love for you guys to try them. Uh, work on previous projects. Send them in. We just got our first project submission. You can see it on the Facebook page. If you go to facebook.com slash pluggerware, it is under Project 2 Submissions. So thanks for that. And keep submitting projects and learning from these tutorials. And I really look forward to your guys' submissions. So yeah, just practice on the Mantis with Pen Tool and you're gonna be good.